Hoi! This is Lars from the Lars708 channel, and welcome to another new video! Uh, in this video I'm just going to tour around my island real quick, because I actually kind of ran out of time to do the whole weekly video kind of thing. I actually got very busy with school and they changed some stuff around, so I had to spend the entire day working on things. And also it doesn't help that <laughs> this video I recorded earlier, but the audio got screwed up, so now we just have to start over. Anyway, here we are on Binye, my Animal Crossing New Horizons island, and let's start the tour. Uh, so right here is Sky's house and Phoebe's house. Uh, I don't intend to show off everything fully just yet, with like the villager house and the museum, because at this point not everything is actually finished. There's a lot of flower uh, areas around, like flower breeding areas. Which I will change with. Uh, I will just actually decorate them later on when I have enough of each flower variant. Uh, so this is like a little beach lounge area with a rock that I need to remove still. Uh, here we have a little spa with a water pump, and it, I think it's like a mud bath. I think that's what this is supposed to be. To me, it kind of looks a bit dirty, but I also, I don't really know what this is meant to be. I just thought it was kind of cute looking. That's kind of my entire theme with the town, I guess, if you can call it a theme. I just kind of do whatever. So here's a little tea table with coffee. Tea table with coffee, that's weird. And a little fishing area. A little shell, uh, shell arch. Moving on up towards more houses, but we'll go, we will go there later, actually. First, I'll show off this part. So here I have my orchard with all the fruits. This is uh, what I wanted to do with all the rocks. Like one day one just spawned randomly like this, and I was like, wow, this is super handy because you can just grab your shovel and, oops, grab your shovel and hit the rock like that. I already hit them today, so there's nothing coming out. But yeah, it's really convenient. And that's work for two and three of them. And now number four needs to come as well. Then I have two more rocks that I need to replace, but I don't know where I, what I would do with them just yet, but that will come, surely. And here I have another flower breeding spot with purple hyacinths that I'm breeding. A little cafe, which I have more of throughout the town, because what else do I fill up my town with? That's kind of... I just kind of do whatever with what I have. I'm sure I will change a lot once more furniture comes out, but I guess that goes for everyone. This is not finished yet, I just don't know what to put here. So I'm just kind of waiting for new furniture again, or maybe if the the roost, the cafe, comes out someday and it's like a separate building, maybe I could put that here. I think that would be nice. Um. So then here is my main street ripoff. Next granny and Abel sisters, obviously. I kind of went for like a main street kind of thing because I also put the bushes right here on the cliff, which is was the thing in New Leaf. Like when you uh, see the cliffs, it would be a few bushes up there. Um, yeah, not much else to see here. And then right over here, there is more flower breeding stuff going on. A little playing area. It's quite cute if I say so myself. Yeah, pretty neat. And of course, no town is complete without a Zen garden. Well, mine is rather lackluster, I guess, but I just like to keep things a bit simplistic. It works for what it is. And I got I, I just put these right here, the purple tulips, because I realized I actually got a lot. I thought they were like super rare, but once you have a few, you can get them pretty easily. And so right here, I'm trying to get green mums, which isn't going too hot yet, but you know, they're rare, so it takes time. And right here, there's more breeding stuff going on, pretty cool, not gonna look too much into that, because up here there's more breeding stuff, which I will look into after we've done the house, because the house is that way as well. Um, so right here I just put the bunny furniture outside, because I didn't really want to dedicate my house room to it, um, and I think it would be nice to just have this area kind of rotate, like ev every time there is a new event going on, I'll just change uh, the furniture to match the new event. And so here there's another flower growing spot with a pizza oven, which is fitting because I'm getting an oven today and I hope it doesn't come in when I'm making this video because then I have to cut it. Oh no, I want to do this in one take. Uh, the plaza's right here, I don't think I've shown that off. With a nice teddy bear, 
it's a pretty big one. And then a garden will go on, which I put here, with like a little trail of cherry blossom petals. Because now it kind of looks like I pushed it all the way over there and like a little bit of the petals spilled out, you know? Does that make sense? I think it's nice. Um, so what is... <laughs> I haven't really thought the route out, but I guess I will just go here next. This is just another thing of, oh, I just filled it up and it somehow kind of maybe worked. Um, here's Camel Frog's house, here's uh, Poppy's house, whatever you, I don't know how you say it, but Poppy, Poppy. Oh, I'm not gonna get that, red balloons are not that useful. And here are more random flowers that I just didn't have room for to put anywhere else. And the breeding spot, which we've been to before, uh, Bunny's house. Here's Bob, and we have Mint. Oh, Mint is right in front of us. Hello, Mint. And this is Raymond. I mean, who is even that? Who, who was Raymond? I don't think anyone cares about Raymond. Also, the footage is kind of like, uh, if the footage seems kind of choppy, that's not the the capture card. It's just the game like struggling. Sometimes it, it has like frame drops here and there because my town is just so full of random nonsense, which is kind of unfortunate. I hope they optimize that later on. But yeah, here's my museum terrace, if you will. I love the models, I just kind of put them out because, you know, the museum has these uh, on display, like actual living living specimens. And the bird wing butterfly, the, the Queen Alexandria's bird wing is my favorite. So I had to put that somewhere, but I didn't know it was this big. So I just put it on the cliff down and I think it works well because you can see it pretty easily from here uh, and I also put attention to the museum itself with how the bugs are to the left and the fish to the right so also it's kind of dumb how the blue marlin is smaller like it's so small compared to the the barrel eye and the golden trout they're like the golden trout almost seems bigger even though the blue marlin is like definitely bigger IRL so I wish the models would be skilled up a bit, like with the bugs, but instead they're mostly smaller. Which is a bit disappointing if you ask me, but you know, it is what it is, and it still looks nice regardless. So right here I have my messy campsite, I haven't gone around to cleaning up the flowers yet, but uh, these are intentional, but the black roses aren't, and it's just a little camping area, what else is there to see? I don't know, think very much. So. Then we're almost at my house, but first I want to show off some few things here. This is uh, my little bench area. Is that what you can call it? I don't know. I just needed to put something there. Again, <laughs> I just improvised with everything, like here. There was like a little bit of space left over, and I was like, hey, I guess we'll just put a bit of flowers right there. A uh, little... Oh, this is for bleeding blue roses. I think these are all uh, hybrid reds. I'm not sure, because I keep forgetting. But I think they are. <laughs> and a little whirlpool right here with poolside beds and coconut juice. And of course a changing room, because how else would you get in your swimwear in a world where star ones or magic ones don't exist? So here's the cafe. Pretty cool. It's the first one I made with an actual espresso machine. And an arcade cabinet. Three of them actually. Four if you count this one as an arcade cabinet. Maybe if you generously count this in an uh, arcade cabinet, the pinball machine. This one isn't though, it's the foosball table. I, at first I thought that foosball would be like a typo, but apparently foosball just means small football. And I thought it was funny because in German it's literally foosball. Alright, sorry about that. My roommate knocked on the door. But here we have a bunch of flowers again that I just put here for breeding purposes. Which I will also change up later. Uh, I want to make a pool site thing right here, like uh, the whirlpool area you saw earlier, but then bigger. And I want to change the whirlpool area later on, so I can have it here, all in one place. And this is just a little sitting area again to fill up space. I really don't have like a plan for all of this, like not at all. And this is a. Uh, Another example of that, but I think it's nice. I think the bamboo launch bugs really lightens it off because there are so many colors inside of that. Otherwise, it would be a very boring just dull and brown one. So, then lastly, we have my house before we end the tour. And there's more junk. 
I honestly have so many spare DIY recipes, so I have like this thread up on the forum to trade them out. This is my living room, which is just basically full of all kinds of crap. It's, uh, well, aside from the basement, the basement is just full of DIY recipes. Aside from that, it, it's pretty ugly. <laughs> the ugliest room. This is the, probably the nicest one. It's the, the kitchen area. I also put this in the other video for like, uh, like a studio of sorts. Not much else to see here, I, I think it's just like very cozy. And you kind of need a for kitchen. Why does it- I just want to turn off the, the tap. <laughs> Why is it so hard to do? And then next up is the bathroom. Ba, 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 bathroom. Look how nice. Got like a little bath and a shower up there. Towels and a little plantage. I don't have it in my own bathroom because, well, maintenance. I don't really wanna wanna have my plants die on me. That's a waste. And a little washing machine because where else would I do my laundry? Yep. Hang on to the left room, we have... Wait till the game loads. My bedroom! And there's more random junk in here. I honestly put them a bit fuller than I would want them to, because I want to get more uh, Happy Home Academy points. Like, if I had to design this myself, like, without uh, having that in mind, I would probably get rid of the harp, at least. And maybe this big stereo as well. But I might as well have done it entirely differently. I do like this shelf, though. This is, like, really pretty. It's one of my favorite items. And you can craft it. That means you can have unlimited amounts, which is always good. Most definitely so. So I'm gonna skip my basement, because it's just literally... There's a rotten turnip for our ants if I need them. And the rest is just duplicate DIY recipes. And this is another random room. I didn't really have any furniture that I liked to work with anymore. Like any DIY recipes. So I was just like, okay, let's just fill this up with stuff I have. And things I can craft. And this came out of it. I think the, the flooring and the wall actually kind of match nicely in a way. Even though they're obviously not meant to go together, I do have the, the cherry blossom flooring, but I don't like that one as much. I think this one is nice because there's like a little a little creek, if that makes sense. A little river going on. So yeah, that's that's the house, I think. Nothing else to see. Oh, the crafting table, that's a funny one. I think this one is actually a very nice decorative item. Because I'm not even gonna craft here, I have a crafting table in my living room, which is weird, if you think about it, that you have, like, a work table in your living room. But, just having it here, I think it matches aesthetically with the table. I mean, obviously, it's, like, log-themed, I didn't mean to do that. And I just felt like it would be a nice additional decoration, otherwise it would have been empty. So, I think that about brings this tour to an end. And I'm gonna thank everyone for watching and sitting through this mostly unedited video. I have to cut out my, my roommate knocking on my door, but you know, that's it. Okay, thank you for watching, friends, and see you all next time. Doobie!